In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a signature line in Gmail. So for those of you who don't know what a signature line is, it's basically the last part of an email which you want to be sent whenever you're sending an email. So it can just be a line saying best regards and your name, or it can be a picture or a quote. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. The first thing that you have to do is go to Chrome and log into your email ID. So right now, I'm just opening Gmail. Now we've reached Gmail and over here, you have to go to settings. So you'll find settings on the top right of the screen over here. So just click on it. After that, you'll have to click on see all settings. And over here, you'll find many settings, but we have to go to general. So that's the first page. And then you'll have to scroll down. You'll find an option called signature. And they've said that it'll append at the end of all outgoing messages. So now just click on create new. First, you'll just have to give the signature name since you can have many signatures. So I'll just call this trial and click on create. And now the signature is created. So this box on the right over here is the signature. So you can just type whatever you'll want at the end of every email that you send. So for now I'm writing best regards. Tech is easy. Then I can also add an image below this. So for that, I'll have to click on this icon over here, that's to insert an image. Then depending on where the image is, you have some options. So if you have the URL, you can just paste it over here or else from your drive or you can just upload it from your PC. So as you can see, I've added my logo, but the size is completely off. So I can just make it small. Then you have other options as well, like adding a link. For that, just click on this button over here. And you can make many design changes over here. So you can change the font, make it bold, italics, and all of that. So once your signature is ready, there are a couple of settings which you should keep in mind. So under signature defaults, you should select the option that you want. So for new emails, if I want this signature to show, I can just select trial. And if I'm replying or forwarding an email, then I can decide to not have a signature. And now there's a last setting to insert the signature before the quoted text in replies. So normally the signature is placed after two hyphens, but if you don't want that, you can select this option over here. Now you'll just have to scroll down and click on save changes. So now I'll quickly show you how it looks when I'm writing an email. So if I just click on compose, then you can see that the signature has automatically come. So this is basically how it works. And if you want to know, how to use Gmail offline on your PC? Then check out this video over here. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.